Instagram now support custom RTMP server, meaning you can now live stream on Instagram using your OBS, your VMIS, your Prism Live, or any other live streaming software that support custom RTMP. But the problem is changing from the landscape to portrait. And in this video, I have a solution for you. If you use OBS, come close because I'm going to share with you this free awesome OBS plugin that you can use. Change your video format from landscape to portrait to be able to live stream on Instagram. Now, if you haven't watched that particular video, I shared the step-by-step -step guide on how you could live stream on Instagram using a custom RTMP server on OBS. Go ahead and click the description of this particular video because I also dropped the link there as well. And also drop it in the pinned comment section there. Go ahead, click on that and you watch the step-by-step -step guide on how you could live stream on Instagram using the OBS software. But in this particular one, we're going to look at how you could change the video format from landscape to portrait on the OBS software. And without any further ado, let's dive in. Do remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and also give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. So let's dive into the tutorial. The first thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and open your web browser. Now, I will also drop the link of this page in the description of this video for the Vertica Scene OBS plugin. Okay, so this is the plugin here. Vertica Scenes, this is how it looks like. So now, once you get to this page here, click on this, go to download here. Click on that. A new web page is going to load, which is this one. And once it finish, you're going to see your download link here. That is it. Now, you can just download it on your PC. Let's go ahead and install this plugin. You're going to click this and you're going to see it here. It's the Vertical Canvas Windows Installer. Now, right click on it and select Run as Administrator or Open. So, whichever one you use is perfectly fine. But make sure while you are installing this plugin that the OBS software is not running. Please close the OBS software before you install the plugin. Okay. So, and once you're done installing the plugin, go ahead and open your OBS software. You have something like this. If you take a look by the side here, you're going to see if this section here called Vertica. Okay. Now, if yours is not showing on the screen, here's how you can be able to pop it up. And go over to Doc. See the Doc here. And scroll down. Make sure the Vertical Things, the Vertical Sources, the Vertical Transaction, and the Vertical, they are ticked. Now, the last one, which is the Vertical, is what displays this here. It is a vertical and the vertical uh, scenes here is what displays this vertical scene here down below the screen at the bottom left here okay and the vertical sources is what displays this one here you're seeing vertical sources okay and also the vertical transition is what displays this second one here the vertical transition if you already have like an image or videos on your obs source that you want to bring to the vertical source all you have to do so click on the plus sign here, which is the add button, the bottom of the screen here. See, click on this plus sign here. And then go over to either the media source. That's if you want to copy the sources that you have on your OBS to the vertical source. Okay. Just click on any of them that you have. If it's the media source, if it's the um, video capture device, you can be able to just copy. Once you click on it, to just bring it in on the vertical sources. If you want to still bring it in manually, just click on new. And be able to select click on new here and then just select whichever the camera but that particular camera that you want to use and click on ok and that will bring a different source once you've already brought in your informations or your file or whatever you want on the vertical sources the next thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and click on this setting icon here on the screen that is on the vertical you see the setting icon there just click on it and once it pops up on the general here is where you set the resolution okay and this resolution is the resolution you want to stream just tweak it instead of putting 1920 by 1080 which is on landscape just put 1080 by 1920 which would convert it to um portrait now the purpose of the vertical uh plugin is to create a different stream a different stream from your normal obs live stream okay so you can stream this one only on um portrait to Instagram what your normal OBS live stream can still be on landscape so it won't interrupt your normal OBS live stream okay, and that is the purpose of this and once you're done setting this resolution go ahead and click on the streaming here and once you're here just name this anything you want it can be Instagram and if you have other platform that you want to live stream on in portrait maybe like TikTok you can also click on this plus sign here to add more platform as well go ahead and copy the custom RTMP server here and once you're done copy the key as well i made a step-by-step -step guide video on how you could be able to get this information about the server and the key as well 
I'm going to drop the link in the description of this one. So go ahead and check it out, okay? And once you're done with all of this, just set your video bitrate here whatever you want it to be or now this start streaming hotkey stop streaming hotkey if you want to set a shortcut on your keyboard if you press that particular button on your keyboard the live stream will start if you press that particular button on your keyboard the live stream is going to stop and if you click on use main obs settings it's going to use all the settings you have on the obs software okay all the settings you have meaning your video encoder your bitrate everything you have on the obs but not the resolution. It's not going to use the resolution you have on the OBS setting. It's only going to use the, the video bitrate, the encoder, other information that you have there as well, like the CPU usage and the profile that you, everything you set on the OBS the streaming setting is going to, what it's going to use here, but not the resolution, all right? And if you don't want it to do that, just untick this and you could just select a video encoder here. Just use whatever thing you want, the rates, just set it on CBR and then you could set your video bitrate here different from the video bitrate you have on the OBS live stream, okay? Then the CPU usage, you can put it on slow while, okay? Then the profile, if you want, you can put it on high. Once you're done with all your different settings that you want to do here, okay? And then the audio track, you see here, it has that um, track 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, what is this audio track and how can you select the one you want to use? Just a quick one, let me show you. You go over to the OBS settings here and click on audio. You have the mic and auxiliary audio. You have the three, you have the three, you have the four. So you can be able to set different audios that you want to use, okay, from this place, all right? You can set different audio that it does. If you have like a bunch of audios plugged in on your system and you want to set a different audio for all of them, you could set a different audio from what goes in on the vertical stream to what goes in on your main OBS live stream. All right. Now, from here, you could just select that. You have different bunch of mic and auxiliary audio here that you can set on. Now, once you're done setting this, you just go back, click on the settings here. You could set that particular number audio that you already have set in on the OBS audio. Once you're done with everything, just click on this stream or vertical outputs here. Click on that. And your live stream is going to start. Okay. So we're already live streaming currently on Instagram. And it's using the OBS main streaming settings, but it's not using the resolution I've already set on the OBS software. It's using the resolution I've set for the vertical here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and check that on Instagram. You could see here. This is how it looks like. You can see the full video and they can watch it. Take a look at the screen now. You see at the top here, it's dark and down here is dark. It's only showing the video at the center of the screen. Now, another way to rescale this video, just go ahead, right click on your camera that you brought in on the vertical sources, go over to transform and you could use this rotate 90 degrees. You see this rotate 90 degrees here. Do this, I'll see here, this is how it's going to look like. Rotate 90 degrees, just resize this from the OBS software. Just resize it here from here. Then, you can see how the video is looking now. The screen is filled up and the video is covering the whole of the screen. But when people are watching it, they will have to turn their phone from portraits to landscape so that I can be able to see it because the video will fill their screen. And this way is better. So you can just change if you want it to be the uh, the first format i showed you or if you want it to be this format you can be able to do use whichever format you want to use now one of the beautiful thing about the vertical uh, obs plugin is whatever thing whatever setting you're applying on the vertical uh, thing here it's different from what is going on on your obs normal live streaming settings whatever thing that is here whatever live stream you're doing here whatever format you're changing here whatever you're playing here it's different on what goes in on the OBS main live streaming settings. Okay. The different from the video that goes in there is different from everything that goes in there because if you take a look at the OBS main scene, you can see what I have there on the screen. And also it's different from what I have on the vertical scene here as well. And on Instagram, this is how it's going to look like. You see, the whole screen is filled up. So if you're covering a church live service or a, uh, an event or a meeting, you see how it's going to look like right now. So people can watch and the video, it won't cut any part of the video, maybe cutting the people costs or cutting anything to show everything people that are watching. So they'll be able to see the whole thing clearly. And this is the true way to scale from the landscape to portrait using this OBS plugin. Okay. 
you can be able to do your live stream on Instagram properly now. You can be able to stream your church live service, your meeting, whatever thing you want to stream on Instagram properly using this plugin. Okay, let me know if you have any issue. And you can also send me a message or drop your comment or question in the comment section of this video. And also, you can remember, you could join our channel membership to get lots and lots of benefits. You also have one-on-one -on -one meetings and interaction with me as well. Thank you very much for being part of the family and seeing you on the next one.